Uh, okay, Year 10. Uh, last lesson, uh, I showed you a method for converting binary numbers uh, into, um, sorry, from converting denary numbers into binary. And I just wanted to create a little video just to show you how that process uh, works again. So I'm going to start with a number. I'm going to give you the number 37. Okay. And then basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that number by 2. Now, uh, what's important to remember and something that can be difficult to get your head around is I'm going to do something uh, that we do a lot of in computer science which is integer division so um, basically I'm going to be saying how many times does 2 go into 37 so rather than saying what's 37 divided by 2 I'm going to be saying how many times does uh, 2 go into 37 and then I'm going to be calculating what is left alright now I just want you to think about that for a, a, a few seconds and if you think about that, if I say how many times does 2 go into something, um, what am I going to be left with? Well, I'm either going to be left with nothing, because it's going to go in uh, um, a whole amount of times, uh, or I'm going to be left with a 1. Okay, so uh, down the right-hand side, which is this column here, I'm going to be writing what I've got left after I work out how many times uh, 2 goes into that number. Uh, and that's either going to be a 0 or a 1. All right, so let's start. So how many times does um, 2 go into 37? Okay, well, hopefully we all recognize that it goes 18 times, and it would leave 1 remaining. Okay, and then we do the same thing, just repeat the same thing, reiterate the same thing. So uh, how many times does 2 go into 18? It goes 9 times, all right, and it leaves a 0. All right, how many times uh, does two go into nine? It goes uh, four times and it leaves a one. All right, uh, how many times does two go into four? It goes twice uh, and leaves a zero. Okay, and we're getting down to the business end here. So how many times does two go into two? Well, it goes once and uh, leaves nothing. Okay, and then finally, because well, we've got a 1 left over here, so how many times does 2 go into 1? Okay, well it goes 0 times. Okay, it doesn't go in at all, obviously. Alright, and then uh, we put a 1 up here because we've got 1 left. Okay, now, uh, now we've got to 0 at the bottom here, we can stop. So our algorithm stops, now we've got to 0 at the bottom. Okay, and now what I want you to do is I want you to read the binary number from this way, from the bottom up. Okay, so if I write it out from the bottom up across here, I have 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, and if you remember what we talked about in the lesson, let's just uh, try and convert that back and make sure that it is 37, just in case you don't trust that my method works. All right, and I hopefully you all are critical learners and that you um, cast a critical eye over everything that someone tells you. Okay, so we talked about last lesson, we said this was 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. This is 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. This is 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. This is 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. This is 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. And this is 2 to the power of 5, which is 32. Okay, so what we're going to do is we've got 132. We've got, we'll write that down here, we've got 132. We've got 1, 4, okay, and we've got 1, 1, all right, and if we add 32 plus 4 plus 1, we get 37, okay. So um, that is the dividing by 2 algorithm to calculate, uh, to convert a denary number into binary.